ideal for the future of architecture, I think, would be to uh, get rid of the ropes that uh, currently tie the architect to the ground. Um, the big thing now is to uh, use the buildings that are already there and try to um, renovate them or get uh, give them a different uh, use usage. And um, I think that is the real big thing. To be able to um, have ideas on all kinds of uh, areas, so sort of. Uh, well, more universalis, you could say. I think architects are too limited in their uh, current roles. Architecture has to really interact to the needs of the people, so different scales, different uh, programs, um, just building for a long time though, but really um, anticipating on the needs of different people. To become, to, to be taken serious again, I think, and to uh, really have an important role. Uh, the future of architecture will be in Holland one of, uh, of decline probably, but internationally I think there's, there's, uh, there's a, lot, a lot of work for architects because only 20%, 25% of people these days live in houses designed by architects, so there's a lot of work to do. Uh, my idea would be that there's more use of scientific knowledge, that uh, when an architect designs a building then uh, it's actually tested and afterwards when the building is in use see how good it works and what aspects of it work and that the results are used in future designs as well. Well, I think it's important for the future um, to keep cities alive and to develop them and to keep them working for the people who live in it. What I said before, uh, that it's one coherence. <laughs> I have no idea. And I think that's the beauty of it. No more new buildings. Keep your loving brother. We are educated with the iconic legacy of our teachers. The belief that everything is possible and the idea that designs have to be something special. Buildings have to attract attention, being the iconic appearance of their architects. A good architect isn't respected because of the quality of his building. A good architect wins his prestige by building for the looks, making the architect a personification of flamboyance and arrogance. Architects seem to have forgotten for whom they are building. We can no longer carelessly build to uncertain demands and make unrealistic shiny proposals. The crisis offers us the possibility to re-evaluate. The golden years are over. We have to ask ourselves the right questions and find answers about what's important about our profession. But first of all, where do we stand? This here.
hier überhaupt een architect aan het werk geweest? Absoluut. Er is altijd een architect te vinden die uh, u vraagt en wij eraan. Dus, dus als we bijvoorbeeld naar deze, de, dit ja. gebouw hier, uh, hier, hier kijken. Ja. Deze soort uh, badkamer met, ja. met een paar raampjes erin. Met, en dan nog deze mooie wenteltrap. Ja. Daar heeft dus iemand zes jaar in Delft gestudeerd om dit te ontwerpen. Ja, ja, ja. Ik, ik heb ook in Delft gestudeerd. Dus. Ja. Uh, I think the role of the architect right now is that they are too much um, putting little pieces together instead of really designing a building. Right now it's more that someone else gives an architect an, an, well, an assignment and then he or she has to think of what the person who is going to use the building wants, but not in direct contact to the future user. So there's sort of a gap in more wishful thinking of design. Yeah, it's, it's all about new, uh, uh, new structures, new buildings. Um, what we said, there is a tendency of, of uh, re, uh, reuse of buildings. And uh, yeah, you have Armit here, and I think um, that role of uh, Armit uh, interventions uh, have to be uh, bigger. For. Um Things like uh, the government, or uh, they have to make all the same buildings as cheap as possible, and uh, can really use their creati creativity to uh, make what they want to make. Currently, uh, the architect, in my opinion, is a bit of a well, I wouldn't call him a slave, but a bit of a design slave. Uh, well, it's um, in developing a building with several other uh, participants, and not. Um, only the architect itself right now. Submissive, I would say. <laughs> uh, to change things. We uh, as architects are just catalog pickers of, of, of products that are already made. Well, I think uh, architects mostly are mediators. Right now, if you're a uh, well, micromanager. I think the role of the architect should become a bit more uh, that which what it used to be, the building master, which actually uh, is maybe partially the investor, but also the constructor, also the, the, well, the master builder, instead of just the artist making the sketches. Uh, I think it would be uh, nice if more architects would take a statement uh, and not so much just follow the, 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 the building market and not so much uh, care about real estate values and stuff like that. But I think um, it's important to uh, sometimes get out of the box to make something really uh, risky uh, sometimes and of course it can fail, but it also can be a great success. I don't have a big idea about that, but uh, I think it can be smaller. I think the urbanists uh, in first place uh, had to be in a bigger role than the architect. More of that like an artist, not just um, planning and uh, choosing little things, but just really being an architect and make it, uh, make it beautiful. It would be like it was before, just developing and uh, making your own idea concrete. So um, not influ influenced by all the, the rules nowadays. Visionary, but it sounds too fantastical. So down to earth visionary. All knowing individual. <laughs> To be a visionary, to uh, to be able to change things. 
Well, the architect should listen more to the people who will use the building. In the early days, when someone needed a home, he started building his home himself and built this building from his own experience. And therefore, his house felt like his home. Due to the increase of luxury in life, besides primary demands of the house as a place of shelter, people started to demand something more than a shed. When buildings became more complex and more decorative, the architect came to show. The architect acted like a building master chosen because of his experience about design and building. I will design and oversee the building of your house and it will be a marvelous house. Post-war rapid urbanization caused the need for affordable housing and brought standardization. Architects started to mass produce buildings and houses. Simplifying the building process caused the architect's value to decrease. Instead of a work of craft, architecture became a work of industry. People became numbers, rooms became square meters, the art of architecture became the shifting of program in a nice shape. Architects tried to find a justification for their profession. They shifted their attention towards big social issues. Theories were formulated to find solutions for the contemporary problems as in social housing, a turning point in the attitude of the architect. With our long experience in building, we believed that we were experienced in living as well. The architect seemed to know what people wanted, acting as God in making their utopian dreams for society. Dude, lots of chicks think architects are hot. Think about it. You create something out of nothing. You're like God. There's nobody hotter than God. The more stress on utopian visions, the less focus the architect had on the building itself. The architect shifted from being a craftsman of the built environment towards a visionary of the future, convinced of his thoughts about living as the only truth around. The design of a building became the vague creation of the idea of a building. The complexity of these issues in the 50s and 60s started another development. Within the building process, several parties started to emerge. Besides the builder, there was also a constructor, a specialist for the climate situation, and last but not least, a developer to pull the strings. Because the architect was disconnecting himself from the practice of building, he became less important in the building process itself. Um, what I find most important is that the buildings relate to the people using the buildings. So the people should be able to use the building um, yet according to their wishes, desires at that moment. What I find most important is the, the, the role of a building inside its cultural context and the way it it's, uh, creates cultural identity for the people and, uh, and it kind of shelters uh, human activities. So. So in the end it's all about people, I guess. Um, it has to give me a good feel, a good feeling. It's like not too uh, rational, but more like um, it has to, I, I must think it's beautiful. That's very important to my designs. Uh, spatial quality 
and uh, I always strive to find a certain political correctness. So I don't just think any office building has something to contribute to this world. Well, the most important is to have a strong conceptual idea that uh, it's functional and uh, it really speaks for itself. Well, um, actually, like uh, I've been trying to, to to figure out a way that you can measure uh, uh, like design qualities, uh, as I I feel that architecture lacks sometimes. Reuse is uh, very important this uh, uh, time. Uh, I think integration. Uh, I would say connectivity and flows of people. Uh, the routes that people take in the building and uh, how they come from point A to B and how it looks. The feeling of space. During the past 20 years we have shown we can create a lot of wonderful ideas. However, we entered the domain of the artist and lost sight of the actual practice of building. Project developers dominated, telling us to be more efficient, leaving us to create only a nice facade for an utterly low budget. Started out as the controlling and experienced craftsman, an indispensable pivot in the building process, we became an unnecessary link, uncomprehended and annoying. In the shift from the experienced builder to the vague utopian problem solver, we lost sight of our value as an architect. So, are architects still needed? Uh, yes, I think so, but I think it's, uh, it's needed in a different way, more in a, in a traditional sense about designing new buildings. I think that, that kind of time is kind of over. Like, I think now we can think about in new ways about building, like the built environment, like maybe more in scenarios for the future. And, how uh, uh, the built environment can be reused or reinterpreted. I think we don't need uh, the idea of the star architect, you know, the one that has a brilliant idea and he develops everything. I don't think we need that anymore. Yes, of course. You always have to design. Well, that's uh, what I want to be, so I think, uh, yes. I think so. I think uh, not everyone can cope with spatial problems. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Yes, yes, yeah. Yes, very much. Yes, yes. Yes.